Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to use the DigiLand 10 inch quad core tablet. And we're just going to do a basic walkthrough and just kind of go over how to navigate it, how to use it, all the basics you would need to know to have fun with this tablet. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go over is just the buttons. So on the tablet, you've got a few buttons uh, on the side here. Basically, have in their label, which is really awesome. Um, so we have our volume up and down, so right here. Power, which if you just tap it, it will put the tablet to sleep. But if you actually hold down on it, then it will prompt you to turn off the tablet. So you're not going to turn it off too often, but you would hold down this button to turn the tablet off. Okay. There is a USB port here for charging. So just plug in your charger right there. There is a headphone jack right here. Uh, HDMI which is pretty cool you can actually plug it up to a TV and you have a micro SD slot so you can expand the storage and add more to it and the bottom here we do have microphone and there is a master reset that you would take a little paper clip and stick that in there for it to reset so those are the basic buttons right there and sort of what everything does all right so now Let's go ahead and turn the tablet on. We're going to tap that power button. And just put your finger on the lock and just drag it up just like that. And you open the tablet. Let's try that one more time. Take finger, put on the lock, and just keep it on the screen. Just drag up. That's it. And that's how you unlock it and get to the main screen, which is this. So. The cool thing is there's not too many buttons on the front of the tablet. It's a really clean look. Um, what you need to know is at the bottom here you have a row of these special buttons that are going to be important because they're going to always be there no matter what program or application you're in. You're going to see these. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see it, but right here to the left is a speaker. This is actually a great shortcut. When you tap it, it actually gives you access to raise and lower the volume. Okay. Um, you can also um, make decisions about what notifications come through. So, for example, if you set all, then it will notify you every time you get an email, every time an app tries to communicate with you, it gives you everything. There's a priority option where you can select certain apps to notify you and others not to, which is very convenient for at night when you don't want your phone blowing up. And finally, there is a none option, which means don't bother me between this time and this time. I don't care what it is. I don't want to hear my tablet go off. So a lot of options there. And all that's prompt by just tapping this button right here. Right next to it, we have our screen capture button. So by every time I tap this, it will automatically take a picture of the screen, which is it's so great to have a cool shortcut like that. So I could, for example, be in the settings and I want to show somebody a certain setting I found. I just tap that button right there and take a screenshot. And when I go home, and this is a spoiler because I'm going to get to the next button, but the circle button is the home button. And when I tap there, it's going to take me home. And then I go to the gallery, and that's where I'm going to find that screenshot that the tablet just took. So let's tap on gallery. And what do you know? When we tap right here, here is our screenshot of settings right here. So just that's how you find it after you take the screenshot gallery and you should see an option in there so this circle is going to be your home button and then to the left of it is the back button which takes you back one step so to give you an example let's say we're on google or we, want, we wouldn't want to be on there we want to be on this google google chrome so let's say you're on a web page and mm -hmm. you tap on the wrong thing for example Let's accept, done. Uh, goats and chickens. Let's just put in something random. Goats and chickens. Goats and chickens. So let's say you're trying to search for goats and chickens, okay? Whatever it is for you. And let's say I tap on this picture right here, okay? If I use this back button right here, it will take me back one page. See that? It takes me back to the search. If I tap it again, it will actually take me out of the app or here. Tap it again. Now it takes you out. So all that little button does is just take you back 
one step. So if you're in an app, you tap on something, if you hit that, that arrow, it will take you back one step. Um, it's pretty convenient and it cuts down on how you navigate, so definitely love having that button on here. Next we have our running apps button. This is the square next to the circle. And when we tap here, this actually shows you all the current uh, programs or applications that are running on the tablet. Why is that important to you? Well, it's going to drain your battery if you have too many things running for a long period of time. So you want to tap that little square and bring up this option and see what's open and say, hey, I'm not using the settings anymore. Let me close that. And all you do is just swipe to the right and it's gone. Oh, the gallery is open? Yeah, I already saw what I wanted to see in there. Okay. Boom. Gone. Same thing, Google app, gone. Chrome, I want to keep that open, so we don't have to touch it. Um, but the cool thing is, this is how we close apps that are running in the background to help you conserve battery. Now, the, uh, the, another, the other cool thing is, um, I can just tap right on here, and it'll take me right back to where I was in Google. So that's cool too. So uh, that's going to be Square, which is going to be your running apps. And here we have another speaker button, which basically does the same thing. So these two basically are volume up and down. Actually, not really, because they're not even raising the volume. But you do have these two volume buttons on the bottom, which is cool, and it'll cut down on how often you have to reach for other buttons. So that's basic navigation from this row right here. Once again, speaker, screenshot, back arrow, home button, running apps, and volume. Okay, pretty standard. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go home by hitting our circle. And we're going to swipe down from the top of the screen. Now, this is tricky because if you just use one finger and you try to do it quick. Oh, okay. It didn't do it that time. Usually, it brings up only this much information. It doesn't give you everything. So, to do that, you actually have to use two fingers and swipe from the top. Or when you pull, just pull down really hard. There we go. And that will give you access to all your important, what are called switches. So wireless internet, Bluetooth, auto rotate, location, or GPS, airplane mode, and, and cast screen. All that's done in this setting right here. So if you want to connect to Wi-Fi, we go here. If you want to say, hey, I want this screen to be brighter. It's so dark. Well, then we just do this. Before you know it, now it's a tap, it's a lot more visible. Easier for you to see on the screen, easy for me to see it right in front of it. So this is a great resource. If you're on a plane, use your airplane mode. Um, you can turn your Wi-Fi on and off to kind of conserve battery during the day. And um, the rest are just sort of like marriage stuff. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. Now at the bottom here, if we swipe up, you have a couple of emails I just received. And the cool thing is, um, this will let you again switch or kind of see what's going on and um, take advantage of it basically. So, like these switches are going to allow you to again connect to your headphones to the tablet or connect the tablet to a speaker or GPS if you want to look up directions or a map. So, that's what those are for. But down here is hey, someone sent me an email. You're going to have a notification that shows up in the notification panel, which is what this is right here. And you can interact with it different ways. If you say, hey, I want to see what those emails are, I just tap on it, and it will take me right to Gmail. But I also may say, you know what, I don't care. I'll look at my work computer. These aren't that important. You can just swipe back up, and it's gone. So it's up to you how you interact with those different notifications. I just want you to be aware that they're there, and, you know, what are you going to do when they come through? So... So we've gone over the notification panel. This is where all the apps communicate with you and also you get updates on your email and things like that. We've gone over all the navigation buttons at the bottom. And the last thing, we're just gonna go over um, the app drawer. So we tap on this little circle in the middle and we get to see all the current apps that are on the tablet. So if, everyone, if anyone ever comes in and says, hey, this app stopped working and you check and like it's still on there, then they have some explaining to do. So be careful with that. But these are all the apps that currently come with. There's a lot of Google apps because it looks like this company just purchased uh, Google's like um, APK or whatever you call it. And that's why there's so much stock Android stuff. So feel free to use the Play Store 
which is right here. And in there, you'll be able to find all kind of fun apps. The branding is different. Um, but yeah, take full advantage of that where you couldn't before. And this is our Google Play Store, which is different from Apple's. This is Google Play. Apple has iOS. But anyway, um, their big push is social media. Um, and many of the reasons I'm showing this app is so that if you want to download your own app, this is where you do it. You just tap in the search and tell it what you want it to find or you uh, type it in yourself and it'll look for it. Uh, let's see. Bowling. So maybe you want to play a cool bowling game or something. There it is. We've got all kinds of options around bowling. And vice versa. You can search whatever you want. And it'll find it and it'll give you the option to buy it if you want it. So that's really what that's all about. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you follow this 10 minute video, you should be in the game. So we know just to refresh, we know what all the buttons stand for from volume to screenshot to back arrow, home, running apps, and more speaker to Samsung, um, which I don't have any emails on it right now, but that's where. Uh, that's where it all went down. So, anyway, guys, um, this has been just a basic beginner walkthrough video. Um, how to use the Digiland Core uh, 10.1 inch tablet. I just wanted to go over a basic because some of you guys probably got this for Christmas and may be having some trouble learning how to use it. So, this is basically how you use it. So, anyway, once again, hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech videos. And as always, have a good one.